crater yet today. A gigantic sinkhole swallowed up pretty much all of that street. Right now, crews are trying to fill it in. This is happening on Twinbrook Road. That's in Fairfax County, and that's where we find our Stephanie Galehard with more on how this happened and how long it's going to take to fix. Hi, Stephanie. Hey there, Adam. Well, making repairs and filling this thing in isn't easy. I mean, look at it. It's gigantic. Crews have been out here for the last 15 hours working hard. Now, it's extremely rare for a sinkhole like this, of this magnitude, to open up in the middle of a residential neighborhood. And as you can see over there, it's attracting a lot of attention from neighbors. It's like a sinkhole, like Florida, you know. <laughs> Big, deep, and dark. It's like the Grand Canyon of Twinbrook Road. It's, a, it's amazing looking down into that thing, how deep it is. Five to seven feet deep and four car lengths long. There's like a gurgling noise you could hear coming out. It was really strange. Uh, and then the noise, I guess, of the water just screwing out of the pipe. That water gushed all the way down the hill, taking the road with it. Got it fixed, so it'll be all right. I was lucky no cars were in it. One pipe burst at 2 a.m., another mid-morning. Fairfax Water blames our weather. I think we're lucky the water ran down the center of the road instead of into the property lines. And then, then we might have some real problems, and then you make you pay instead of the county. You know, if it's your property, it's tough luck, you know. <laughs> Those neighbors can't wait for this road to open back up to traffic. Fairfax Water tells me that would happen at the earliest tomorrow morning. Live in Fairfax County tonight, I'm Stephanie Galehard, WUSA 9. Quite a mess. Stephanie, thank you. By the way, the water has been turned back on for homeowners in that area. Trying to walk